In this video, I'll show you how to find the maximum value of a function using linear programming. This is question one. I want to start off with a little bit of theory. Linear programming is a method for finding both the maximum and minimum values of some function. For example, the maximum profit or lowest cost. When the variables that it contains are themselves restricted to within certain limits. The function that is maximized is called the objective function and the limits on the variables are called constraints. The constraints will be in the form of inequalities. The question reads, find the values of x and y that will make z a maximum where the objective function is z is equal to 5x plus 10y and x and y are positive and subject to the constraints x plus y is less than or equal to 5 and 2y minus x is less than or equal to 4. The first step to completing this problem is to graph these two inequalities. I'll start by rearranging this inequality so I have it in terms of y is equal to. So I have y is less than or equal to 5 minus x. Notice that I brought this x over. And similarly, this equation can be rewritten so that it looks like this. 2y is less than or equal to 4 plus x. Divide both sides by 2. You end up with y is less than or equal to 2 plus 1 over 2x. So now I have to graph this function and graph this function. Not hard to do. Starting with this one, we have a slope, which I'll denote as m, of negative 1 or negative 1 over 1, my rise and my run. And my y-intercept is 5. In other words, 0 and 5. Those are the coordinates for my y-intercept. For this equation, my slope is 1 over 2. That's my rise and that's my run. My y-intercept is 2, or the point 0 and 2. I'm going to plot this in green, starting with my y-intercept. It's over here. I'm going to use my slope as my stepwise pattern. So I'll go down once and over one to the right. Another point here, another one here, and so on. And I'll connect these with a straight line. And for this line, using the color red, I'll start at 0 and 2, go up once, over twice, once, over twice, and so on. I'm going to connect these points now with a straight line. What we need to do next is find out which of these points, this one, this one, this one, and this one, along the edge, will maximize the function z. The only permissible values for x and y are coordinates of points on the edges of or within the shaded region. These are called feasible solutions. That being said, let's document what these points are. We have a point right here at 0 and 0, a point here at 0 and 2, a point here at 5 and 0, and a point here, the point of intersection, at 2 and 3. We will evaluate the function z at all four of these points. Remember our function was z is equal to 5x plus 10y. Our first point is 0 and 0. 5 times 0 plus 10 times 0 gives us 0. Next we'll try 5 times 5, this point, plus 10 times 0, we end up with 25. And for clarity's sake, I'll just highlight the region that is permissible. Our next point is z is equal to 5 times 0 plus 10 times 2. That gives us 20. And lastly, z is equal to 5 times 2 plus 10 times 30. This gives us a total of 40. Therefore, our function is maximized at the point 2 and 3. This point right here, the point of intersection. This is also referred to as the optimal solution. And there you have it. That is how to find the maximum using linear programming. Make sure to watch question 2 for a slightly more complicated example.